In the previous video, uh, for level one of the castle color match, we created the green functions to get and drop and place those. So we're going to move those off to the side and uh, write our functions for the red. So again, I'm just going to move this off to the side a little bit. And I have my drop and get red functions. But before I write those functions, I need to orientate my robot back to a center start position. So I'm going to come to my drive. I'm going to drive in reverse for 200 millimeters. Then I'm going to make a left hand turn at 90 degrees. I'm going to drive in reverse for 800. And again, this is not the only way to do it. You could do a complete 180 degree turn and write it. Uh, and now I'm going to turn left at 90 degrees and create your own way to get back to whatever starting point you choose. This is just the way I chose to do it. So if I look at my get red, I'm going to do that same pattern that I've seen before. I'm going to drive forward. I can look at my map and I'm going to say, you know what, the easiest one to get is to the left. So I'm going to turn left 90 degrees and I'm going to drive forward. When am I going to drive forward to? Well, I'm going to drive forward until that bottom sensor again sees that red. So I'm going to go to sensors, get my down sensor. And for whatever reason, it's not wanting to go inside my block. There we go. My down sensor or my eye to red. And then just like in the past, we're going to stop driving because we want to energize that magnet. And now that magnet is energized to pick up. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to write my drop off program. So the way that I'm going to do this is do the same thing in reverse. I'm going to drive 200 millimeters in, or 400 actually in reverse. I'm going to turn left at 90 degrees. I'm going to drive forward 800 millimeters and I'm going to take my magnet and I'm going to charge it to drop. Now technically we're done at this point after I bring in my blocks for my get red and my drop red, but I can't see that I actually drop that magnet unless I move from that, or that magnet unless I drop from that spot. So I'm just gonna simply drive forward 200 millimeters. So again, instead of having this all one program in one big straight line, by using functions, I make it more usable. So if I wanna alter this program in the future, I could just use it, alter the functions uh, to have this happen. 